Welcome to the Mayfest 2021 video. This fest festival is billed as the homecoming for the town of Caney. It starts on Thursday night before Memorial Day, and there are events that run through the Memorial Day service on Monday morning. This year was the 150th anniversary of the founding of Caney, Kansas. The town has a population of 1,800. Caney is 70 miles north of Tulsa, Oklahoma, right on the Kansas-Oklahoma border. I've been coming here all my life, so I might be a little biased in regard to this event and this small town. Both sets of my grandparents lived here, and my parents grew up here. So I'm used to spending about half of my Memorial Day weekends at Mayfest. It is a great annual celebration and always manages to bring something new. This year, that new thing is an event called Fourth and Live, which is a concert series that uh, this was the first of uh, four monthly concerts to take place this summer of 2021. Um, they happen in downtown Caney on 4th Street. Upcoming artist Granger Smith was the first artist to perform, and he won the Country Music Award for the best quarantine song last year called Don't Cough on Me. Starting Friday night and all day Saturday, street vendors are lined up along 4th Street and in City Park. Various food and craft vendors are available as well as some bouncy castles for the kids. The annual car show is one of the highlights of Mayfest. This year, 120 classic cars made an appearance on 4th Street. The car show is hosted by Main Street Auto. My favorites were the Shelby Cobra Mustang, the 1949 Chrysler Royal, and a purple Plymouth Barracuda. The only thing missing on the Barracuda was a K-State Wildcat decal. In addition, there are also some family-friendly events. Uh, during this time of year in southeast Kansas, you always see turtles crossing the road after it rains. So it's been a tradition to pick up these bock turtles and have them race. On Saturday morning, the turtle race takes place. All the turtles are placed in a big circle, uh, the turtle that runs out of the circle first wins. While registration is taking place for the turtle races, they also have a big wheel race going on. So both of those will be fun events for the kids. Additionally, fireworks were supposed to take place on Thursday night this year, but because of rain, they were postponed to Sunday night. But it was a fantastic display held at the baseball fields west of town. Additionally, the car races that were scheduled Friday night at the Caney Valley Speedway were canceled this year, but I'm sure they'll be back next year as well as several times during the summer. The Historical Society also had several times scheduled on Saturday and Sunday to stop in and check out the museum. Mayfest is called Homecoming because it's traditionally been the weekend where the school had the alumni uh, banquet for all the past graduates. While the banquet has been canceled, it is still the Alumni Reunion Weekend. Several classes scheduled their reunions to coincide with Mayfest. Um, I know that the class of 1971 had their 50th reunion this year, as well as the high school's open Saturday afternoons for people to come by and reminisce, as well as catch up with old friends. One of the unique things that happens on Memorial Day weekend near Caney is the Delaware Pow Wow. This just takes place a few miles south of Caney on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This year was their 56th annual celebration. If you've never been to an Indian powwow, you should go. It is fascinating to watch the different dances and listen to the drums. Uh, powwows deserve to have their own national tour, just like River Dance has. So there are two events left uh, to complete all the things that go on this weekend. Uh, first, on uh, Sunday, there is a golf scramble that takes place at the Caney Country Club. This year, it was $100 per foursome to participate, and 70% of the entry fees were paid out as prizes. Uh, the Caney Country Club is a nine-hole golf course that has been here for uh, a long time. Then finally, there is the Memorial Day service at Veterans Park to honor all those who have passed in defending our great country. 
really not possible to do all this in one weekend, but you can try. It makes for a lot of fun, and I hope that this video will encourage more people to attend in future years. I'm thankful that I've gotten to experience this event as many times as I have. So this next section of video is going to be the route to shoot the U here in Caney, Kansas. Um, this is something that in the 80s and 90s uh, you did because there typically wasn't a whole lot going on in town. Um, I've probably done this hundreds if not uh, thousands of times. Um, they organize uh, set shoot the U nights now. Um, not a lot of people do it anymore although it's been going on for decades. And I, one of my best stories from this is uh, some friends of mine and, and I had heard that there was going to be a fight uh, out west of town. So about six or eight of us got in our cars and started heading out that way in a line. And the uh, a police officer came up to the front of us and stopped the whole row of people moving. And he was like, coming down the road with a flashlight checking everybody out. He got to me and he said, your eyes look like a map of Kansas. And uh, with that we decided it was uh, time to leave town for the night. And with that, we come to the conclusion of another video. Thank you for your time. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video, and always, have a great day.